So today we're going to be testing out Lovable, which is an AI coder that we can test out, see how it performs. Now, if you haven't checked out Lovable already, you can get it at lovable.dev, as you can see. And then from here, we can, for example, use these template prompts just as a startup. Now, if we hit enter, this is a default prompt from Lovable just to test out and show you exactly how it works. It's pretty simple and easy to use, like you can see. And then from here, it's going to go off and start coming up with the ideas. So you've got the design inspiration, the features for V1, design elements, etc. What we can also do as well is if you want to compare these side by side, let's take this exact same prompt and plug it into bolt.new and we can see, okay, what do they both come back with? Now, you might be wondering at this point, okay, what would you use it for? Let's say, for example, you're an SEO. You can create tools with this. So internal tools, you can create tools that would actually rank on Google. So for example, if you go onto Google Autocomplete, you can do the keyword research for free, and then you can type in AI tool four, and you can find a bunch of tool related keywords you can actually rank for, right? So for example, if you're using something basic like bolt.new or lovable, you might use, for example, AI tool for presentation or AI tool for research, like they would be quite easy to create using lovable. And then you can rank for them directly. And here's what's pretty wild is this worked straight off the bat, right? That was super simple and easy to do. Now, if you go to Bolt as well, you can see that it's created exactly the same. These inner pages don't seem to work so well, so there's no price history right there. But you can see that it's created a simple sort of crypto portfolio tracker in the space of minutes. We didn't need to code. We didn't need to pay anyone to code for us. You can actually get free versions of Lovable and Bolt. The only problem with Lovable's free version is it's quite limited. I think you could create maximum one project for free each month and then you're going to have to pay for it. Whereas on Bolt, you get a bit more flexibility in terms of what you get for free. And also it's just easier to deploy. So you can just hit deploy over there and it's pretty simple. Let's see what happens on Lovable. All right, so I know it's super easy to deploy on Bolt. And there we have the project published in the space of minutes, right? And something that might take someone like months before pre AI and all that sort of thing. You can now do it in minutes using bold. Honestly, the UI differences are quite minimal. Let me pull them up side by side. You also see that this is responsive too, but this one actually, I just saw it update a second ago. So I think it's updating in real time, which is pretty wild. There's so many use cases here, right? Anything you can imagine, you can basically build now. So for example, like ranking new websites with SEO and the exact match domain method, that works really well. What you can also do is target low competition keywords. You can build out new tools and you can either embed them to your site. Like you can see right here, we actually have this AI keyword clustering tool that we embedded to our website. And then you can also rank for tool related keywords. So like I was saying before, let's say you're in the real estate niche, you can type in real estate and then you can put, for example, real estate tools for, and for example, you could create some real estate tools for agents, create the content around that, create the tool inside lovable and either embed it to your existing website or create an exact match domain to rank for that too. Same for investors, buyers, agents. Also, when you're embedding the tool and giving it away for free on your website, that means you can rank for more niche and long tail keywords, like for example, real estate tools for agents free. Then you can also build new apps, just like we built the cryptocurrency app, like you can see right here. And then also branded keywords, quite a good one as well. Additionally, reputation management. Let's test another one now. So now we're gonna go with Hacker News Top 100, and we're gonna create an app showing today's top 100 stories from Hacker News. Now we have the Hacker News Today website and I'm showing you these examples really to just show you like how creative you can get with this, right? So you can create something super basic and to some people that's where they're going to stop. But the only limit here is your imagination. So if you have some ideas of like APIs, you can actually connect directly to Lovable. Then you can see right here, you can update and stuff in real time. You can create really cool websites and that's pretty amazing. Now you might be wondering like how can you add some custom instructions inside it? So you can go back and forth within the chat or you can manage the knowledge section right here. So you can see inside the manage knowledge section, you can add custom context and instructions for the project. And like I mentioned earlier, you can connect this to Superbase, which means you can call third party APIs. So how that works is you create a Superbase account, then you create a new project in Superbase. And from there, you just connect it to Lovable like you can see right here. So, and then if you click on create new project, from here, we can connect to database. Now, once you set up the project, you can then go inside Superbase, connect to a project, and then just select the project that we just created, for example, like testing, and you can connect your own databases. So the things you can do with Lovable are really inspiring, to be honest, and it's something I've never seen before. I've not really tested Bolt, 
But I think inside Bolt, you can do the same thing. So you can see here, for example, you can connect to Superbase. And I think it just depends on your preference, right? I mean, if you want to create more stuff for free, Bolt is probably going to have more flexibility there. If you want to have more custom made templates, you can actually see all these projects right here from different creators. And then you can get number one, more ideas on what works and what doesn't. But number two, if you go into these tools, if we go into here, for example, we can actually edit someone else's project. The way that I see 2025 going is before you would have to download an app from the app store or build a website based on another template. Now you have the flexibility and freedom to just do what you want. And that way you can create apps, tools, websites, etc. that are custom made to you. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to my free SEO course with over 200 AI SEO tutorials on SEO link building, keyword research, custom GPTs, quality control. There's also a whole section on Lovable, including many different prompts, techniques, etc., that you can use to grow your website, to get more leads, traffic, sales of SEO. So feel free to check that out, along with all these different bolt tutorials and case studies that I've done to rank. And additionally, if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, feel free to book that in. We'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 bits this month and generate thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot. On this free link building acceleration session, you'll get a free SEO domination plan, discover the secrets of SEO link building. We'll answer any questions you have one-to-one. -one. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to 10x SEO traffic based on what's working for us. Feel free to check that out. Link in the comments and description. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.